Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I did a quick vote to see what you guys would be most interested in hearing. First, Divine Feminine or Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine won by a long shot. And I'm pretty excited about that because I feel like we are all in this really magical space of trust and surrender and allowing things to come to us. So I feel like it feels pretty good to start with divine feminine energy first. So that's what this reading is going to be mostly about. I'm, I'm sure that's what I'm setting the intention for is that this reading is going to speak to the divine feminine energy within you or if you are divine masculine or predominantly masculine energy and you're interested in divine feminine or a divine feminine, this is a check-in for her energy, okay? So I didn't want to just do a reading, you guys. You know that I'm really big on magic. I'm really big on setting intention. And what you don't know is that this is usually the time that I would use to connect with spirit. Just me and spirit just hanging out together in the morning. I actually have my coffee off on um, the right side. And when I'm connecting with spirit, <clears throat> I also ask spirit, what intentions are we setting for that day? What intentions and magical things does spirit want for me for that day? Or do I need protection that day? So I do have, let me show you really quickly. I have a little candle, a quick candle that I pulled up for us. I also have the Lunar Goddess Beauty and Intention oil that I love to work with. And then I also have my favorite Sharpie pen, you guys know, and a pad for like to write on so that we can not only work with the energies of what divine feminine the messages for divine feminine but we can also manifest okay and as i'm writing this petition and as i'm doing the magical work for all of us today i'm setting the intention that it be good that it be amazing for you that it be a blessing for you and that it serves every single person who is tuning in and watching it now okay so I hope that resonates. We're going to start off again, like I said, with the messages from spirit to speak directly to divine feminine energy. I'm going to move this crystal over here just so I have more space to work with. Yeah, so while I'm getting ready and while we're connecting, guys, I really want to ask you to connect with your guides, right? Because you're going to need discernment. And you're going to need to um, have clarity as far as what spirit, your spirit guides are speaking to you, how these messages apply to you, where to apply them and how to apply them, if that makes any sense. Beautiful divine, it's me again this morning. Thank you so much for another day. Thank you so much for my puppies. Thank you so much for the excitement and enthusiasm that I feel today to be able to connect with my internet family, the Bahati Vibe Tribe, and shuffle and pull for them today. I want to put myself aside first and really connect and see what and how we can connect further with Divine Feminine, not just me by myself, but me with them. What do we all need to hear Beautiful divine, speak to us, spirit guides, ancestors that belong to me and that belong to them. Let's work together in harmony and alignment and, and speak to us in a way that gives us a blessing over our lives, that gives us direction over our lives. I'll be using the tarot again as a tool in order to connect with you further. Speak to, through the tarot to speak to me so that I can speak to them. 
I awaken divine feminine energy within myself. I awaken divine feminine energy within the viewer. And all the messages that divine feminine needs to hear right now, we are open and willing to receive it for our highest and greatest good. Okay, first things first, you guys. Spirit is talking to me about imbalance, 100%. And please ignore my nails. I'm actually going to be getting them done later. Spirit is talking to me about imbalance. Divine Feminine wants to speak to you about imbalance. This is not... Uh, Spirit is saying they don't want to start off talking about external dis external things that are imbalanced. If something internally, whether it be hormonal, whether it be, sorry guys, there's a fly in here. Um, just a second too, actually. Let me, cause Nova's gonna be a little loud. Normally there's not like distractions like this, but maybe that's a message all by itself. But spirit is talking about not just external imbalances and external, I don't want to say noise, but things that you may divine feminine allow yourself to be impeded by is what I'm hearing. Like something that you would allow spirit wants to, to show you how you may allow things on the external to stop you from doing what you need to do for yourself or what you how you allow yourself to be treated how you allow yourself to feel and they want to bring additional clarity to that is what i'm hearing they want to bring additional clarity to that they're saying that if the center the center of you is in align in, in alignment if the center of you your heart your core is strong and stable and knows who you are, then you are less apt to allow things that you see around you to distract you and to impede you. There's something about this word like impede, like stopping you from feeling better, stopping you from moving forward. Some of you guys don't realize that the shadow within yourself, the divine feminine within yourself, the dark the darkness within yourself, that beautiful darkness, that beautiful shadow, your secrets, the things that are subconscious, the things that are hidden, the things that are intuitive, the things that are psychic, may be craving certain, I don't want to say addictions, but they may be craving some, some, um, they need, they want to be quenched. And spirit wants you, divine feminine wants you to see that and acknowledge that and find it within yourself to replace it to replace the the superficial with something that is has depth right so let's say you have the 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 um the divine feminine shadow within yourself is needing something and this is no spirit is like it's not anything to be ashamed of it's something that we all have the, the darkness of the soul. Like we all have the darkness of within ourselves. That's very feminine of us, <laughs> you know? However, how we look to quench it can be a medicine or it can be poison. Some of you guys, it's funny that the King of Cups was reversed, was the first card to show up and the Knight of Wands reversed also was was second to show up right and i'm just gonna accept this fly <laughs> i never have flies in here and this morning i let the dog out and let the door open and the fly came in but i'm not gonna allow it to distract me if he hangs out then he hangs out anyways um king of cups reverse and knight of wands reverse i'm gonna first start off with how this aspect can show up within you right so if you're feeling like you need emotional completion, like you need to be emotionally fulfilled in some great way. This is not a light and insignificant filling up of the cup of emotion. This is this goes very, very deep. However, that depth can then provoke and trigger superficial 
irritable, impulsive energy in order to quench a deeper need, a, a deeper desire that goes into the shadow, that goes into the depth of your soul, that goes into the depth of your being, the very fibers of your being. What is it that divine feminine needs in order to feel quenched? Has she spoken up for herself? Has she said, this is what I need to feel safe? Or what is she not saying in order to, what is she not saying because she doesn't know how in order to serve and to quench her fear or her insecurity or the feelings that she doesn't feel safe within this? What is divine feminine what is she saying and what is she not saying? And are you hearing her? Sometimes the world looks at divine feminine and says, she knows what she wants. She knows exactly what she wants. And maybe that is the case. Sometimes divine feminine knows exactly what she wants and other times she doesn't. Give her the space in order to figure that out and ask her for her voice and give her the chance to articulate it and, and try to reach out to her to help her to figure it out or to, to help fi fill, fill those needs, fill that space, fill that void. While she also simultaneously is working to fill that void, that space within herself. You can't rely and extract from divine feminine without pouring into her and giving back to her in some great significant way. You can't just take from her. You can't just pull out of your divine feminine resource and never replenish, re replenish it. At some point, it's going to get barren. At some point, it's going to be, there's going to be a void there. At some point, it's going to be incomplete. And then what happens? That shadow self that is at the very bottom of the barrel of divine feminine energy that lies within us is going to rear its head and fight for it to be quenched in any way that it can because that's very primal and it's active. So, <laughs> wow, that was very, very, very deep. I already know what the petition is here. And because I'm feeling it, I have chills, guys. Because I'm feeling it, feeling it right now, I'm going to go ahead and just begin to write the petition. So today's date is August 3rd, 2022. Um, hey, Google, what time is it? It's 1024 a.m. 1024 a.m. So feel free to join me, my loves, in this petition work. We're just going to use this candle right now. Normally, I use a fixed candle, but because I'm working with the Lunar Goddess Beauty Intention Oil, this is going to be good enough. Absolutely. So spirit guides from the highest lights of the universe. I call on you. It's funny, too, that I chose the Lunar Goddess Beauty and Intention Oil, and it's the lunar energy that's here right now. Oh, please excuse the appearance. I actually use my oils <laughs> regularly. Okay. Dear Divine... Dear Divine Universe... I call on you now to awaken beautiful divine energy, divine feminine energy within myself and the viewer today. I awaken within us calmness, cl 
clarity, direction, fulfillment, power, direction, and nourishment into all of our bodies, mind, body, soul, spirit. Now, fill us with goodness, the highest goodness that the universe can abundantly give to us now. Let divine feminine be heard completely and all of her needs met. What are we missing? Now, feel free, guys, to add on to this list, this intention, this petition. I am safe. I am provided for. I am magnetic. I am chosen. <clears throat> I am vibrant. I am enough. I am who I am. And that is great. <clears throat> My cup runs over. The universe slash the divine provides for all of my needs and then some protect me us from those who only wish to take okay so i'm going to take a little pause and I'm going to continue shuffling and ask Divine Feminine what she needs right now. I love that we're doing this, by the way. This is everything. What does Divine Feminine need? What are her needs? Oh, okay. I heard fill in the blank. Ooh. Okay. That one definitely wanted to jump out. Okay. Look at you. I feel like we need two more. Divine Feminine, what do you need? the deck in half. Actually, this one wants to come. Nine of Cups, <laughs> Hermit card, Six of Swords. Some of you, okay, what does Divine Feminine need? She, she needs to be carried forward. She needs to be lifted up and she needs to be carried forward. Um... Three of Swords is the acknowledgement of the hurt. Three of Swords is a, is in is an acknowledgement of the parts of you that have suffered greatly and are currently maybe still suffering. Ten of Cups is giving me all of the complete emotional. I don't want to say baggage, but all of the emotional 
damage and all of the feelings, just like all of them. Some of those feelings are things that you would never want to relive. And some of those things are great memories. And either way, they can create a feeling of They're heavy, you know, like they're even a good feeling can sometimes be heavy because it's like nostalgic. For Divine Feminine, there is a feeling of feeling um, even if you're in a partnership or even or alone, there's a feeling of completion and, and that this is good. Like uh, this, she needs to feel good exclusively as her, as she shows up, as with all of that she feels. It's not external things that she feels will make her happy because she understands that yeah, there may be there may be some needs and wants, but the whole universe can show up at outside of your doorstep and give you all the things that you want and need. But at some point, it's like it has it'll have an expiration date where you're going to want you may find that you may want more or that it still doesn't fill you up. So what is divine feminine need right now? She needs the things that money can't buy. She needs the feelings of peace and satisfaction and grace and compassion and kindness and gentleness and consideration and <laughs> for her voice to be heard <laughs> Noah says <laughs> all right baby <laughs> Nova <laughs> all right should I get up and get her oh look at the clock it's twenty two eleven. Um, for those of you guys that don't know, um, Nova is recovering from pneumonia. So if you hear her coughing or breathing hard when she's excited, it's because she's still healing. For many, <coughs> Nova, let it go. Let it go. That has nothing to do with you. That's not your business. Can you sit down? Can you sit down? Sit. And I'll take you for a walk. Down. Good girl. Stay by my side. Good girl. Hold it. Hold it. So for some of you guys, there's a specific, a specific need, a specific want, a specific. There's something specific. That's I'm gonna say that. There's something specific that your heart truly desires right now whether it be a, a balm, like a medicine to heal from this and to help you to move forward. But if that is in, if that is the case, right, if you know exactly what you want, and let's go ahead and work the magic of that. Like, if that is exactly what it is that you want, then I also call into alignment the rest of your needs and wants to be made, to be met. And it reaches, it just comes to you. It comes to your hands. It comes to your spirit. It comes, it comes into your energy. So even if it comes, when it's coming in, whatever this thing is, that there's also, before that, you're met with peace. You're met with satisfaction. You're met with, I am enough. This is enough. And anything else that comes in is literally just overpouring. That's what divine feminine needs right now. That's what I'm speaking over this situation. And literally, I'm working with the lunar goddess right now because it's, it's magnetic. It attracts just by being. Okay, so we're going to carry on. 
Divine Feminine receives her heart's truest desires, desire, because it's one specific thing I feel. Along with that, she gains peace first, grace, fulfillment, and a deep sense of satisfaction. An understanding of who she is, why she is here, how much she is loved, and protected. Divine's grace, love, and protection shield and cover her now. With every step that she takes now and forever. So shall it be. All right, we are not done. Any final words, Divine Feminine? That is beautiful. Lovers. King of Wands. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to figure out which card just jumped out. I don't see it. Okay. Hi, honey. We'll go for a walk soon, I promise. I don't know if you guys could see this, but look. And I was like, and what do we have here? You're so cute. Speaking of divine feminine and the dark, <laughs> and the shadow. <laughs> she literally looks like a shadow and she's my shadow. Meanwhile, Franklin is the light, <laughs> masculine energy. <laughs> so funny. Oh, look at that, the chariot. So funny. And like Franklin, like literally, he needs attention, but he doesn't need as much as attention as Nova does. And it's not because he's not asking for it. He just has always needed his space. He's, it's very balanced in his household, I'll say that. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, <laughs> the first card that jumped out was the star card. The second was the lovers. Third was king of wands, six of swords, and then the chariot. Speak to me. Oh, look at that. Queen of wands is here as well. Ugh. And then two of pentacles reverse. And then eight of pentacles, ace of pentacles reverse. Um, Spirit is saying, this is not divine feminine. This is divine feminine recognizing and hearing what spirit is saying. It's what I want exists. Who I am is enough. I am ready to receive. Pour into me, divine universe. Pour into me, divine universe. I want what you have for me. What you have is beautiful. What you have is a blessing. I listen to you and I hear 
the gifts and the blessings that you want to give to me now. I allow myself to receive. I surrender to the highest, greatest gifts that you are willing and ready to give to me now. I am ready to move forward. Who I am is enough. I am ready to receive. It's like a repeat. And my hands are kind of shaking, so I, I feel like if you can do Reiki energy and say this to yourself while you're holding your hands on your chest or your belly, you'll be able to receive this. Chariot is the is when you merge those two sides of yourself, the divine feminine and the divine masculine, things start to move forward. Things start to carry forward. If this is a soulmate, twin flame, or divine counterpart connection that you are manifesting within your life because it's here you know i i'm not it's it's just here there's aspects that need to like aspects of healing that need to be called into both parties right now that you are going to surrender to the universe that you're going to surrender to the divine in order to heal and to counsel especially divine masculine. There are certain um, therapies, I'm going to say that, there's certain therapies that divine masculine can't, shouldn't receive from divine feminine that they have to find it on their own. And that if you, divine feminine, if you connect and call out to spirit, to the guides privately, it activates quickly the healing that divine masculine and yourself need in order to move forward in a way that is constructive and healing for the both of you. If not, it's like we're going to be stuck in the king of wands reverse energy, queen of wands reverse energy. We have divine counterpart here, but both of them are kind of rejecting out of ego. Um, I heard super, superficiality, like kind of... Look, two of pentacles, it's like two things that want to work together, but they're not kind of coming together. And ace of pentacles is like what is lost because it can't connect. It can't, it's not, it's struggling. What a beautiful reading. So divine feminine, remember that your shadow, your intuitive sense, your intuitive longing that you develop is going to be the strongest key in order to access the angels in order to access the divine in order to access spiritual revelation and awakening that serves both you and the divine masculine whether this be a partner or divine masculine within yourself so instead of chasing or teaching be just be be who you are magnetic literally it's like i i'm not trying to like promote or anything but like beauty magnetism attraction lunar glow this is what this oil is all about it's about in the embodiment of magnetic lunar attraction and vibes and it changes and it ebbs and it flows and every time when it ebbs and it flows it's because you're entering into a new cycle that has its own gifts that has its own magic are you spending enough time discovering that about yourself is that being uh exalted or is it being shunned and held back and stifled in some way. So pour into that, my love. Divine Feminine, I'm speaking to you. <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is put the tarot away and just thank the cards and thank Spirit for this amazing gift that we have. And now I'm going to go ahead and finish off this ritual. So Divine Dear Divine, dear Divine Universe, I thank you. And I'm closing out this ritual, this petition now, as I seal this petition now. Let no harm come to the viewer and let no harm come to me with this petition. I thank you for the gifts that you are clearly so readily ready to give to us now and that we are clearly ready to receive. I call on the powers of the lunar goddess intention oil in order to attract that which we have called out into existence, those things that we've called for, those things that we've called out for. Let them come to us now. 
let the magic and the energies of the oils and the herbs do what they do best. Let's kind of sign your name on it. Okay, baby. You're so cute. And I'm going to go bury this in the backyard. <laughs> okay, my loves. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this morning. <laughs> I'm stretching, guys. I'm stretching. I'm stretching. Thank you guys so much. Oh, sorry, babe. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me this morning. I'm going to go. I think there's, um, I have this hibiscus plant. That's been growing. So I'm going to go tuck this into the dirt. I'm going to go uh, walk my dog and spend some extra time connecting with the guides and the divine and the universe and see if there's any additional messages that I can pull for myself, any private um, petitions that I need to write for myself. If you want to work with the Lunar Goddess um, Beauty and Intention Oil, you can find it in the apothecary. I also put this on my heart space. I put this on my throat chakra, and I also put this on the top of my crown chakra just because um, it helps me to connect, especially at nighttime. It's interesting. I only work with this at night, and it's, it's the morning, and here I am working with it for a very good reason because the lunar energy was all throughout this reading, so there's no coincidences. Allow yourself to not follow the rules. So specifically, allow yourself to be called and guided by the divine feminine who does know what she's doing within yourself, within every single one of you. Until then, you guys, I do want to invite you to su subscribe to the YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And of course, I will see you in my next one. Bye. Oh, I'm going to be here probably tomorrow to do divine masculine reading. I think. Yeah, I will. Okay, bye.